Hi, my name is Tony Mandoni. I'm an artist, but I'm also a car dealer, and I'm passionate about making sure that you don't get ripped off. Later on in this video, I'm going to introduce you to one of my cousins, going to make you an offer you can't refuse. But before, let me just explain a few things about how car dealerships work. Okay, so if you're trying not to get ripped off when you buy a new car, here's the secret. It ain't gonna happen. Forget about it. If you drive the thing off the lot, it dropped in value by 30%. How can you avoid getting ripped off? You can't. But most people didn't know there's a trick. When you're trying to save money, you can save it in other ways. Most people didn't know that when you're buying mulch, you can totally save yourself a lot of money, up to 100%. Let me break down the numbers for you just a moment. Okay, let's take the average price of one cubic square yard uh, mulch. Let's multiply it by about 13. That's how many you're gonna be able to fit in the typical truckload. Okay, so that comes out to $363.00. 87 cents. Okay, how are you gonna save your money when you buy in your mulch? Well, it's easy. You get it for free. How do you get it for free? Well, can you be a little bit patient? I'm trying to explain to you. Okay, first of all, these are wholesale prices you're seeing. This ain't going down to your Home Depot and buying those bags of mulch that are gonna end up in the whale stomachs anyway but way, way, way more than you're gonna pay here. This 363 is actually pretty cheap when you compare it with all those bags of mulch. How can you bring this ticket down to 100% saving money back, new mulch guarantee? Well, my cousin over in Florida is going to explain right now. But if you're really interested, I can sell you a used car. With a used car, you're not going to be losing the value when it goes off the lot. Now, the car might not work, but at least you're getting a good deal. So you can call me. I'm going to put my number on the screen. And if you call by next Tuesday, we're going to throw in a 500-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty on every model after 2002. That doesn't include the CRVs, which are known for having really bad issues with the AC compressors. And if the AC goes out, which they do, your car ain't gonna work, and you're gonna be stuck in Florida not going on a road trip, which you gotta do, so you got a good car, and my friend is waiting, so I'm not gonna make him wait anymore, but I wanna see you next Tuesday. Don't be late. Woo! I am on top of the world, guys. Actually, I'm on the top of a giant pile of mulch. So this is uh, my gardening tip for the day, and I hope you find it helpful. So one of the things that people ask me a lot of times being in Central Florida is, can you grow bananas? Can you grow things like yucca? Can you grow tropical stuff? And the answer is sometimes, and you can definitely improve your odds by planting things on top of the mulch beds. You can see how I've used some of this in the past. I've just elevated these fruit trees about three to four inches off the ground. And the advantage of that is A, you have a material that's breaking down and the process of that gives off heat in the winter time. So it'll help keep the area a little bit warmer so it doesn't freeze. And secondly, it provides a lot of nutrients as the material breaks down. You got a bunch of nice little fungi in there that help make the nutrients in the soil more bioavailable. The third thing, you got drainage for your trees. The fourth thing, they look a little bit more stylish than a, a typical tree, you know, just laying into the ground. And fifthly, they provide a nice little area you can grow other things. Here I've got some okra and these will mature throughout the summer and give me some other food. You know, it kind of gives whatever's growing under it a tiny bit of shade. And so that can sometimes be helpful depending on what you're growing. And you might be thinking, well, how am I gonna get a giant thing of mulch like this? This is gonna be cost prohibitive. I mean, we're talking, this is uh, 13 cubic yards of material here. Actually, here's what you can do. Just start calling tree companies in your area and they have to dump this stuff off at landfills usually and there's a fee for it. So you just say, hey, I'd be willing to take that stuff and uh, repurpose it for free. So I just had a few people come and deliver some mulch to me. And you know, I gave them a few papayas as a, as a thank you. Had about uh, three extra papayas, this is just one of my trees. This is another example of me putting uh, some of this mulch to use. This is raised maybe about uh, four to five inches above the ground. And this is yucca planted here. And this is just gonna kind of help these more tropical 
uh, plants to not freeze off in the wintertime. So far we've had so much harvest of these and the papaya. Now a hard freeze is gonna maybe present some challenges for you, but a lot of times these things will come back from the root. And it's just about keeping that root level from freezing off uh, so you don't lose the plant entirely. These papaya trees, even though it they did get frozen and they just came back up. And now I have three trees instead of, instead of one coming off of that one original. Anyway, I hope that uh, gardening tip helped you guys. And don't forget to like and subscribe this video if you found it helpful. And if you have any other ideas, feel free to share them in the comments below. All right, guys, I'm Jay Harvey Lewis. I'll see you next time. Next Tuesday, don't be late. I'm your friend Tony. I'm gonna help you out.